which is a way to completely pivot how you go find information. So here we go, show you a visual search, and I'll click on visualize digital cameras. Okay, and up will come uh, automatically 1,500 cameras, and I can now just scroll through all these cameras visually and look for that one that we're looking for. So for example, someone said, oh, you know, your daughter said, oh, I want that really pink, simple one. I can come in and hover and see which one that is. Or I can use that the power of search and visualization. So I can say, show me the most popular cameras that people are searching for. Or show me the newest ones that people are searching for. Or, you know, like most people in this audience are a bit more self-directed. We can come in and say, look, I'm going to tell you what I want. I want a camera that is 12 megapixels or better. Okay? And I want it to be a 10 times zoom or better. Okay? And up comes uh, the appropriate camera for that particular query. Uh, let's give you another example. Uh, I don't know if there's any, uh, anyone in the audience who shops for handbags. This gets a much better scream at the company meeting. And we'll say, let's take a look at uh, visual handbags. And up will come 2,000 of the best handbags that we've assembled. And I can just scroll through and see all of the handbags here. Now, I'll admit I'm not an expert uh, in handbags, but I, I, I need to become one. So let's say uh, I've been told B. Mikowski is a good handbag uh, manufacturer. And I can say uh, my wife is asking me for a shoulder bag because her birthday's coming up. And I want to keep the price, I don't know, under 300 bucks. So that's a fair price. And there, there are some options right there, 17, 17 of the cameras to go take a look for. So very powerful way. One last scenario there on the consumer side is uh, let's say we're looking for a movie, so we're going to take the family after movies. I can come up, uh, Visual Search will automatically understand what is uh, in this area. Uh, so in San Francisco, there are 80 movies right now that are in theaters. And I can scroll through by the covers here. Some of these projector reels are because they're kind of more art films, so we don't have the, the, uh, the graphics yet. And again, I can say, for example, it's a family night, so let's say PG, and I want to have uh, an animation and then up will come the five animation movies. And we can say this cloud of meatballs. Automatically, we just do reverse IP lookup. We know it's near San Francisco. Here are the times. And if I want, I can actually post to Facebook or tweet it or uh, send it through Windows Live Mail, and I send an invite out. So a very powerful way now to go search that pivots on the notion. Uh, final, just kind of final to show you, here's a bunch of the galleries we have. We call them sort of galleries. So uh, NFL players, um, popular books, popular celebrities, just to give you a sense of how we think search is going to change and we're going to really get behind this. Let's say, again, I, I told you uh, Bing is very hot with kids at school, so we decided to go ahead and do some stuff on U.S. politicians. And up will come the 600 politicians that uh, are in the government here. And you can come in and do a bunch of things. So, for example, uh, you know, line of succession. I don't, know if anyone, I don't know if any of the judges can name the line of succession, but uh, I can't. If I click line of succession, here we put out all of the people that are in the line of succession. And you might be surprised to discover who's, who's actually in there at some point um, if things go badly. Uh, another thing is we can come in and say, how many, uh, how many senators, let's take, uh, let's take US senators. Any predictions of how many women senators? Anyone know their politics? There are 17 women senators. Here's where they are. Barbara Boxer, I think, is well known down here. And, uh, and with one click, you can come in and learn a, a bunch of information about her. We have her tweets embedded in the page uh, and some other features. These aren't shipping yet, so I'm kind of jump, showing you some stuff we shouldn't be showing you just yet. So in any event, um, just to close it off, that is one of the features launching, launching visual search. The whole concept is that the world of search is going to change. You're not just going to be looking keywords to URL. There's going to be a more graphical way to search and discover information, and it's going to pivot how people start to use the search service.